post pandemic we all saw a huge demand for making our homes better and at the same time we also saw a great increase in the ott content and all this ott content started coming up in 4k as well as atmos formats and guess what the mobile phones or the laptops couldn't be the best sources to enjoy this and that is where one of the best thing happened in our industry which is we saw a huge demand for home theater systems i know the reason why you're watching this video is that you're looking to buy home theater systems or you're looking to build a great home theater system and that is why in this particular video after speaking to so many of you we realized that there is a need to know the right steps to build a fantastic home theater so make sure to watch this video till the end because at the end of the video i am also going to share with you one of the best tools that has been used by over thousands of people every year to design their home cinema systems so make sure to watch the video till the end and before we begin and proceed further let me introduce myself hello everyone my name is tanmay mehta your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya and since last 9 years we have been designing thousands of home theaters for people like you across india to ensure that we can help you with the right solutions at the right price and while doing all that stuff we realized that the demand and the need for getting right information so that you can make well informed wise and correct decisions while buying anything to everything in the home cinema system is important and that is why through this channel we particularly try to make and take active efforts with my team here to bring more and more such valuable information based videos which will help each one of you so make sure to hit the subscribe button right now so that you and i can stay connected now as we all know a home theater system on a very very minimum scale at least requires a 5.1 channel surround system now why do we need 5.1 channel surround system well because typically in any home theater case you have three speakers in the front which are your front left center and front right speaker and then you have got two surround speakers which are surround left and surround right now these five speakers are called as the main speakers because they give you sound which you can hear and along with it comes a subwoofer which is counted in point the reason why subwoofer is counted in point is because that's a speaker which does not give you sound which you can hear but it gives you the bass which you can only feel or the sound that you can only feel so that's how a 5.1 system was a basic necessity for a home theater system after that we saw the rise of a 3d surround sound system and that is where dolby atmos started becoming popular and for achieving dolby atmos the bare minimum standard format is 5.1.2 so keeping the old 5.1 system the way it was we added two more ceiling speakers so that they can give you the sound from the top and that's how a new dimension was added into the surround sound category jumping from 2d to 3d and at the same time the experience became more real realistic now this 5.1 or 5.1.2 is as i said the lowest standards required for a home theater system now you may come to a solution wherein that you want to buy these systems but they can be a little expensive for your current needs and in such cases what would be the right steps to go there let's try and find it out so the very first step is to understand that what kind of configuration do you eventually want to build Now when you buy a 5.1 system or when you're planning for a 5.1 system you need a 5 channel AV receiver when you're looking for a 5.1.2 system you need a 7 channel system when you buy a 7.1.2 or a 5.1.4 kind of configuration audio system you need a 9 channel AV receiver that is because the subwoofers are not passive and they are active or they would only take signal from the av receiver and they would take or create it its own power supply from the amplifier that it is got built in to know more about subwoofers and why don't you need power separately for it make sure to watch the video that is shared above so now that we know that the av receiver and speakers put together are going to give a great home cinema system then as a first step okay in buying your and building your home theater system the very first step is to buy the av receiver that is according to your desired number of channels now if that's clear let's look at the speakers part of it so as a first step along with the av receiver you need to buy the two main speakers that is your two main front left and the front right speakers 
put together these two as a combination with your amplifier will be called as a two channel system. So this is the first step. The second step is to add your center speaker and the surround speakers to it. Now this way you can have five speakers in your home theater together. Many a times we have seen that people just add the center speaker and call it a three channel system. Well, you can do that as a configuration, but typically we won't recommend that because the way you would separate the vocals which are going to come from the center, you need to also separate the surround sound by adding the surround speakers. So jumping from a two channel to five channel is more wiser than just adding one speaker in the center and calling it a three channel home theater. So after five channel, one of the most important things that you need to add into the system is the subwoofer. The subwoofer is going to then create a 5.1 format of the audio. So now you will get a little more better bass and you will have a dedicated product which is going to concentrate on the low frequency requirement in your room. Now after this 5.1 is completed and and if you need to add more surrounds or more atmos then that would be the last and the final step that you need to add into your home theater configuration so that's how over a period of time you can decide and buy equipments that can match and complete your desired home theater system and at the same time what you have to keep in mind is that the front three speakers that is your left center and right ideally has to be of the same brand and the same series in that brand so that the tonality of those three speakers are very well maintained because believe me 70 percent of your sound while you're watching any content comes from the front in any home theater system so that is why these front three speakers are your main speakers and it's better not to compromise on them so if this is clear to you make sure to hit the like button right now and if you have got more such queries on home theater systems and its configurations, then don't forget to share them in the comments below because now I'm going to share with you one of the best ways to design a great home cinema system and that is using the link that is shared in the description because by that tool, you'll be able to understand that what all things you need to achieve in that room and that link will also give you a clarity on your requirements, on your price range and on the best systems that can be made available to you so make sure to use that link share those forms with us so that me and my team here can work on your solutions and i tanmay mehta your home cinema consultant or home theater will see you again in the next video thank you